It's Friday morning and I'm about to go to the gym for the fifth time this week. I'm really excited about the progress I've been making, but my sore muscles keeps me in bed. I take out my phone and open TikTok. I scroll for one hour. I scroll for two hours. Another hour goes by before I'm able to get up and get some breakfast. I usually cook eggs at this time, but I was already feeling lazy, so I grab some cereal, a bowl, and milk and sit down and watch some more TikTok. The rest of the day follows like this. I was too lazy to do work, too lazy to go to the gym, and by nighttime, some friends asked me if I wanna go out tonight. I already failed my morning, I didn't go to the gym, my diet has gone to crap. What's another thing? I'll just restart tomorrow. Bad habits have ruined so many people's lives, and most of the content on the internet doesn't give the real information on how to quit them forever. They'll tell people to listen to their mind, listen to their body, do what feels right in the moment. But that type of advice makes people never progress. Instead, I'll tell you the truth. You can't listen to your mind or your body, to your thoughts or your feelings, because those parts of you still think we're hunting and gathering. Your brain has evolved for millions of years to make you survive as long as possible and to reproduce. One way your brain does this is by rewarding you for eating foods that let you survive longer. Things like fat, things like sugar. These types of foods feel so pleasurable to eat because in hunter-gatherer society, whenever you were able to eat these foods, source some fat on your stomach, you could survive in the winter. Your brain is used to never or very rarely getting that level of food or entertainment from the hunter-gatherer days. So when it does, it sends so much pleasure to you to keep getting it, to keep desiring it. But what your brain doesn't know is that we have an unlimited access to these resources. We could go down the road right now and buy the most sweet, fatty dessert ever. We could open our phone right now and scroll on TikTok for hours. But this makes it our job to guide and control what we need to do, despite what our brain is telling us what to do. In other words, we need to delay gratification. The first step in this process is to start judging what you do every day, despite if you enjoyed or felt like doing it. So take eating a pizza or some ice cream as an example. I love doing both of those things. It's not the healthiest, but in the moment of eating the ice cream, eating the pizza, it's, it's really fun. It's really delicious. Or take scrolling on TikTok, sitting in your bed, scrolling on TikTok. It's not the most productive thing, but it is perfect content that I'd like to watch. It's like poker vids, other stuff, and I love doing that. You know, time seems to stop. But then after finishing that pizza and the ice cream, you start to feel a little bit tired. You kind of want to sit in the couch, just relax, maybe watch something. Definitely don't feel like doing anything uncomfortable, like reading a nonfiction book or going to work out. Or you just look up after that TikTok session and wonder what you just gained from that. That time is lost forever. Let me ask you a question. This might sound weird, but have you ever regretted not watching TikTok earlier in the day? You ever been like, damn, I had those few hours free this afternoon. I wish I just scrolled. Or have you ever sat there and been like, damn, I really wish I had pizza and ice cream earlier in the day. I really regret that. Doesn't that sound so stupid? But let me ask you another question. Have you ever sat in bed at the end of the day and been like, damn, I really wish I went to the gym earlier. I really wish I worked out harder, wasn't too lazy. I really wish I didn't avoid that uncomfortable thing earlier. For most people, the answer is yes. This is the difference between serving your current self and serving your future self. Whenever you go for pleasure in the moment, especially short-term dopamine hits like eating or watching something, your future self suffers. Your future self feels the regret, the loss of time, the literal poorer health. But whenever you do uncomfortable activities, the hard work, your future self is rewarded with the results, the confidence, the clarity, the feeling of fulfillment. But even if you're aware of how this works, how these bad habits are addicting, how they're basically a drug, it's still incredibly hard to stop them completely. It can't happen overnight. You have to start replacing these bad habits with positive habits. Because even if you quit the social media, the video games, you have this gap of time that you're used to doing those bad things with. And if you don't put it towards something else, you're gonna slip back into what you're used to. Start building an exercise routine, a meditation practice, and a gratitude practice. These are absolutely necessary to have a happy and fulfilling life. These habits will make your future self feel more confident, clear-headed, and happy. 95% of people won't do this. They're gonna become more unhappy over time as they serve their current self and leave their future self to suffer. You can crush them. I have videos on all of these positive habits, but to make sure you actually take action, after this video is done, open your clock app, set a timer to two minutes, and click start. During these two minutes, start focusing on your breath going in and out, and repeatedly doing that. 
that is meditation. Even if you get thoughts or memories coming up in your head, don't worry about it. Just try to go back to your breath. Over time, as you do this more, you'll start to get better and better at this, and eventually it'll become effortless. You must start doing this every day. Start with two minutes, work up to 10 minutes, and it'll bleed into every other area of your life. And then you'll start to wonder how everyone else isn't doing this. I really hope that for you. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the topics and want to join a free community of people seeking their best self, scroll down, hit the subscribe and notification bell, and watch this next video.